Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here in the series. My name is Dominic and I'm the host of the Android Factory. Last episode, in case you missed it, I'll link a card in the top right. We simply just implemented a little countdown timer here where every second we randomly generate a new color and we set it to the background of our root view. At the end of that five second timer here, we go ahead and just set the text to say done. Uh, we can actually go ahead and make this a little bit more interesting. Diving into today's episode of the snack bar and the toast and the differences between them. As I mentioned in the last episode, we do have these little lifecycle callbacks that we kind of, you know, set this uh, timer to start, start and stop on. We're going to remove that for just simplicity here, and we're just going to um, kind of not have to worry about that too much. And instead, we're going to make use of kind of firing this um, timer off on the button uh, click listener here. So we could just say timer dot start. So now we can actually use this other element in the UI here. But other than that, everything was basically exactly the same as last episode. Again, if you missed it, uh, link a card in the top right. Okay, so kicking things off here, we're gonna start with the toast. It's the simpler of the two. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen it before, but in case you're a beginner or you don't fully understand it, um, this one will be for you. Stick around for the snack bar stuff because we are going to implement like a retry uh, or handling some contextual action, which is a little bit interesting. So anyway, for the toast, we can simply just start typing toast. And then here we can call the make text function on this, uh, this class here. And we see that there are a few things, right? Context, text, and then how long you want it to display for. The context here will be this at main activity. The text will just say uh, timer is up. And then the duration here, the toast class actually has a couple of these set up. There's just length long and length short. Um, we're just gonna go with length long so nobody misses it. Uh, but that'll just kind of you know, predefined constants of how long you want it to show for and they're just set as one and zero so it's not like a measurement of time at least not immediately right here um, but anyway afterwards all you have to simply do is call dot show and so now in the uh, on finish block of our countdown timer we will toast something to let the user know when the timer has stopped <laughs> Yeah, I was waiting for it to start. I forgot we have to click the button to actually kick it off. And then uh, eventually we will see timer is up, All right? Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, not much to it. Toast is really helpful for displaying a whole bunch of different information, but keep in mind that it is supposed to be short, sweet, and not really, you know, let's say like super impactful to the user. It might just be, you know, hey, your settings were saved or hey, this operation completed. Hey, this operation failed, you know, whatever the case is. It's just kind of little blurbs of information, nothing too, you know, critical because it's going to go away after a set period of time. And we obviously don't want that to go away if it's something important, like, you know, I don't know, your, your document upload failed. Do you want to retry it? You know, that, that's not the proper place for a toast kind of thing. Um, so on the counterpart, a little bit more in depth here, we have something called a snack bar. And, and I actually like this one a little bit better. It feels a little bit nicer, cleaner, just better looking, let's say. Uh, but they both accomplish the same thing. So again, we can do uh, snack bar and we are going to call make here. So kind of a similar process. And then we see a few different things here. And we're gonna take a look at the first one here. We need a view, the character sequence, and then um, the uh, the, the duration again, right? So uh, at the surface level, it looks pretty similar to toast. It's kind of just the evolution of it. If you have been around for a little while, it might be the same idea of like a relative layout being promoted to a constraint layout. Uh, that's kind of the way I think about it. It's just a little bit better version of the, uh, the, the thing that came before it. So we will leave the uh, root since we actually have that defined on line 20 up there, which is just the root constraint layout of our XML file. And then we're going to go ahead and just say timer is up, the exact same. Um, and then we need the duration, which again, you can get these from just being on the, uh, on the snack bar class itself. However, there is length long, length short, and length indefinite, which is actually interesting. They kind of added that in. So this starts to bleed into the idea of maybe it is possible for you to put a little bit more contextual information in there um, because you can give them an action to explicitly dismiss the, the snack bar or explicitly retry something or, or do whatever you need to do um, as opposed to the toast that doesn't have that functionality. It just goes away after a little bit. Um, so we'll just stick to the length long. And then at the end of it, of course, we need to go with something here called dot show. I'm going to comment out this toast just for uh, simplicity so they're not running at the same time. 
And then once this timer runs up, we'll see something at the bottom of the screen come up. And you can see there, timer is up. It's got this nice little rounded background. It fades in, it fades out. It works well with light versus dark mode. It understands uh, where the bottom of the screen is, much like the toast. And so it does kind of, uh, you know, just look a little bit nicer. However, one of the benefits of the snack bar here, taking this a little bit further, is something, uh, I don't know the exact name of it because I haven't used it in a little while, uh, but we're gonna do dot apply here, and then I guess we'll call dot show. Uh, and inside here we can do a little bit of configuration, and specifically we wanna look at like the action that we can do. Um, and look at that, it's actually called action. Uh, so we can very simply call set action here, and hmm, let's make this, uh, maybe we can actually say restart as the action. And then here we can have a trailing lambda with it colon view um, to actually kind of get invoked when this action is selected here by the user. And so we'll see it in a little bit. Uh, but actually, uh, can I, hmm. oh, I'm inside the object. Okay, I'm trying to restart this timer, but as you can see here, this line of code is executing in the onFinish block inside of the timer. So I think what we're gonna do here is actually um, save this thing out. Hmm, there's a little bit of a pickle. <laughs> I need to reorganize some code here so we can actually do this. Give me a sec. Okay, and welcome back. Uh, sorry about that, I know it's just a few seconds for you, but it was a little longer for me. Um, we have this interesting cyclical dependency here after we tried to apply uh, this action here, but basically what I wanted to do was uh, inside of this action, inside this snack bar, we wanted to restart the timer here, but because the timer was being initialized here, um, and the timer needed a dependency on the snack bar, <laughs> I needed to create both of them before each other. Um, so yeah, if that doesn't make any sense, don't worry about it. But point is, um, we've just initialized, uh, we've defined the snack bar up top to be nullable and we set it to null. And then later on in the on create here before on finish runs, we actually go ahead and uh, initialize this thing and then everything kind of works. It's not, maybe not the most beautiful design, but again, this isn't the most beautiful example um, just because we're doing everything in on create. So it made it a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. However, um, we can see here in on finish that now at this point we can just nullably call show on snack bar here. Uh, and we see our definition of the snack bar down here. So if we go ahead uh, and rerun things here, we can uh, kick things off by actually clicking the button. And then we'll see the snack bar at the bottom has another piece of information here. Timer is up and restart. And if we go ahead and click restart, we can see that it actually runs again. So it is pretty nice. You know, you get a little bit of an option here. Uh, I don't know if you could see it and it went away. Uh, but when I long press, there was a little bit of like animation around um, the item there that said restart. Uh, so it does have, you know, material theming and it does kind of fit the modern uh, Android UI. So I like this one a, li a little bit better than the Toast, especially for quick little retries and stuff of that nature because it allows uh, you, know, you to do so with the set action. And then I do, um, I do wonder, I don't know. Let's see, what are we doing here? Um, no, so it looks like there's actually only one action that you can do um, because there's a text view that's over there yeah, and then look, it's it's setting it gone if the uh, text is empty or the listener is null. Otherwise, it sets it visible, sets the text, and then on the text view, it sets an on-click listener. So you can't just continuously add actions here and have them all pile up. I'm sure here, if we were to just kind of duplicate this um, and changed it to restart two, uh, I would imagine that only restart two is shown. There's just one action there. Um, and I guess that kind of makes sense because they don't want it to be too too many options. Yep, restart two. Obviously, it's going to work the exact same for us. Uh, but point is, you can only have one action associated with the snack bar, so we can just go ahead and remove that. Uh, but yeah, here is the difference here between toast and snack bar. Uh, toast is pretty simple. Snack bar is very simple as well, but allows you to kind of uh, you know at least handle a little bit of an undo or redo or additional action, uh, which sometimes is really useful. 
Uh, at the very least, though, for what it's worth, I like the snack bar better just because of the way that it looks. Even if you don't use the action, you know, the interface here to actually go ahead and, uh, you know, display one, right, looks extremely similar to this one here. Uh, you know, object dot function passing in a few arguments dot show. It's basically the exact same thing here in the snack bar. The only difference really is the root. Uh, you need a view instead of a context, but 9.9 .9 out of 10 times when you have a context, you'll have a view. Um, and if you don't, then you're probably doing something wrong anyway. So uh, I always like to use snack bar over toast, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments what you like better. Uh, and uh, that'll do it for this one. If you learned something new, uh, please feel free to drop a like, drop a comment. If you are brand new, please consider subscribing to help me out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.